what kind of home can you still get with 1 million in 2024? As Maggie, we have been filming a 1 million series and a lot of friends have been asking for the north side on the east side. So we are today in Kirkland, North Kirkland and South Bothell, and we're going to show you two homes that are under 1 million. So the criteria that we're using to select those homes are, first of all, it has to be a single family. And then number two, it has to have three bedrooms. And then number three, it shouldn't have major concerns. So the two homes that we selected today, one is in North Kirkland, the zip code is 98034, and then the other one is really close to Bothell downtown. So the first one we're at now is in North Kirkland. This is a really convenient location. It's only 50 minutes drive to Bellevue downtown and the Totem Lake Village is only three to five minutes away. The home was built in 1976. It's a very sweet rambler. The square footage is only 1300,000, but the lot size is over 7,000 square feet. Let's go and check it out. So coming through the front door, this is the living room and uh, it's a re really good size. And then the window is quite big and from the window you can see the view of the community. It's a really nice view from here. And then going to the dining and the kitchen area. So this is kind of an open concept. It's not very big, but it you know, has really good natural light. The kitchen itself was renovated, I think, 15 years ago. So it's kind of like a 2000, you know, kind of was done around 2000. So, so it's not very modern, but it was renovated at some point. The appliances are all white, all matched, but if you want stainless steel, you can easily swap them out. And this home also has uh, popcorn ceilings. So if you do want to get rid of them, I think it's really good. It's a good idea to get it done before you move in. So the price is probably the cost is around six to seven dollars per square feet. And here is a formal dining area. You can put in a round table with five to six seats. And through the patio door, this is my favorite spot of this home. So the backyard is really nice. It's very flat, fully fenced. It provides privacy and the yard itself is materially landscaped and it's organic. So the seller is very proud of how the backyard looks like. And I think it's a great place to hang out in the good weather. Besides the dining area, there is a family room here. So it is a huge room, so you can make it a fourth bedroom if you like. You just need to add some additional closet or you can make it a media room or a huge office. The washer and dryer is on this side. And then through the, this door, there is a two car garage. Let's go check out their bedrooms. So this is a small bedroom. We staged it as an office. I think it's a great area for the office or it can be a kid's room as well. On the opposite side, this is a full bath. So it's not renovated. It still has uh, the vinyl flooring and everything, but it's a small bedroom so you can easily renovate it. And here is the primary bedroom. It's good size and then the window is opening to the backyard, so great privacy. And this is a small bath hall suite. Uh, I mean, you know, the home was built in 1970s, so most primary bedrooms are pretty small. The vanity here, it was renovated at some point. The bathroom itself is still original, but it's very small, so it's, it can be easily done. So the house itself is not very big, but it's really conveniently located. I really like how close it is to the schools and then to Totem Lake Village. And the community itself also offers tennis court, swimming pool, and a really nice playground. I also like how flat and private the backyard is. 
Well, the home is definitely moving ready. If you want to do some renovation, I think you can get rid of the popcorn ceiling and update the bathrooms. Other than that, the home is all ready for you. And this home is actually our newest listing and we're going to have open houses on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. If you really like the home, come and check it out. So the second home we are at right now is really close to Bothell downtown. So Bothell downtown is conveniently located. It's only 20 minutes drive to Belleville downtown and there's barely any traffic. And the school district here is North Shore. So the test score is around eight and nine. So it's pretty good school district as well. And this house was actually built in 1962. It does have two levels, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and their square footage is just a little bit under 1600, but the lot size is really big. It's almost 10,000 square feet. As you can see, the front yard itself is really big and it's pretty flat. Let's go and check it out the inside. So coming through the front door, this is their staircase. And then the ceiling height is around eight feet. Um, and the, the whole style of the house is very traditional. It does have the hardwood flooring here, but it does, it has a lot of scratch. So I think it's about time to send them and then paint it to another color. And this is the living area, the, the living room. I think the natural light is really good. It does have three big windows on this side and through the windows, you can see the view of the community. On the other side, this is the dining area. So like how they stage it, it uh, you can easily fit six to eight seats. So it's pretty good size. And then through the patio door here, you can actually see the, the yard. The front yard is very big, but the backyard is rather small. It's fully fenced, but we actually saw some fences are falling down. So we probably need to replace them. It does have a slope at the backyard. So uh, I think it needs more landscaping to make it look better. And that little house there is like a shed or a dog house for the kid. And this is their kitchen area. The kitchen is all original, vinyl flooring, really old cabinet. And then this is a vinyl countertop. I think if you change everything, you know, new flooring, new cabinet, porous countertop, new appliances, probably cost you 10 to $20,000, which is manageable. And this area is actually a little living area right in front of the primary bedroom here. You can make it a reading corner or you can make it another family room. This is the primary bedroom. The primary bedroom is extremely bright because it does have two skylights. I don't understand why people want to put skylights in their bedroom. But I mean, if you do not want to wake up really early during the weekend, you can just put blinds there and then, you know, it just, you can use it as a normal bedroom. And then from this little cute window here, you can see the backyard. I really like the privacy and how quiet this neighborhood is. And now this side, this is a small primary bathroom because the house was built in 1962. Most of the primary bathrooms are really small. So it only has a shower, it has vinyl flooring, and everything is old style. I think it costs you a little bit over $5,000 to change everything. So coming out of the primary bedroom, this is a another fourth bedroom or an office for this, for this house. It's not very big, so I think an office is a better use of this area. So as you can see, this house needs a little bit love, right? So if I were the owner, new owner, I think I will absolutely get a new flooring or at least send this floor and then paint it to another color. And then I will probably change those to, uh, you know, all those really cute wood uh, railings will be a better option. And then I will definitely get a new carpet. Let's go check out the second floor. So the second floor has two bedrooms and one bathroom, and the bathroom has a shower inside. The bathroom itself needs a lot of renovation, you know, new flooring, new vanity, and I will definitely do a new shower room as well. Probably cost it around $10,000.
And then new carpet, as we talked about. So this is one of the guest bedrooms. The other bedroom is a similar size. I like how it has a lot of, you know, storage, but the room itself is not that big. You cannot fit in a queen size. But if you have two kids, I think it makes sense for them to share the second floor. Um, and the house itself needs new paint throughout. And I think it does need new doors and then new baseboard in some area too. So like we said, this home has a lot of potential, right? Uh, it does have really good location, great school district, and there's no traffic from Bellevue to this area, which I really prefer. The home itself needs a lot of cosmetic renovation. I think if you get the home at the right price, then with your re renovation, you actually will get instant equity, which is really great. So I remember last year we actually filmed, you know, similar area with a similar budget, but the homes that we filmed are almost, you know, 2000 square feet and it was renovated. I really have to say, you know, the, the real estate price in Seattle area has jumped again. So after you've seen these two homes, one is a sweet rambler in North Kirkland, and then the other one is a two-story home in South Bothell. Which one do you prefer? If you like this kind of video, give us a thumbs up and leave us some comments on what other area and other price range you'd like to see. Uh, we will take a look. Thank you so much.